And hello everyone, welcome back to another Flask tutorial. So in this tutorial, we'll be taking a look at message flashing. Now message flashing is when you want to display a message to the user, such as let's say they logged in successfully, but you don't want to return an entire thing once you do it. You just want to flash a message. You still want to continue with the function. For example, this index here. We know when we say return, it's going to return a template. Let's say you just want to flash the user message. You don't necessarily want to flash it here. You might want to do it before you get to this return statement. Flashing is generally also just useful because they don't have, don't have to pass a bunch of things into this render template here. It just keeps the code a little bit cleaner. For example, let's say here we have a logged in variable and this logged in variable keeps track if the user is logged in then we can say if not logged in so if the user has not logged in we want to display them a message saying hey you're not logged in maybe you want to go and log in then we can just import flash from flask and then right here we can say flash what do you want to say? You are not logged in. And then what type of flashing this is? Because a flashed message can have multiple types, usually info or error or warning or success. But these are optional. You do not have to add these. These are just categories you can use if you want to style them. In this case, let's just say info because it's just displaying some info that the user might not realize, like they're not logged in. Hey, you might want to log in before you continue. Then let's go to our index HTML here and just clean up a bit. We don't need this if statement. And now we can use a statement to flash messengers. So we can just go and create our block. Then here we can say with and this is an optional block, but I like to use it because it makes the typing a little bit less. Messages is equal to get flashed messages. And you can just say with categories is equal to true. And then you can add a category filter as well. So let's say you only want to get the error or the info messages from this flashed message. We can then say category filter and this will apply a filter and we can say error so we just want to get the error messages info and this will allow us to get the error and info messages but messages such as success or anything like that will not receive now this with statement here is just like the with statement you'd find in other languages as well this right here this whole piece of text will all be converted into this messages. It's like putting something in a variable and then using it, but only within this statement. So only within this with statement will we be able to use this messages to reference this entire thing. And then we can, of course, just end our with. So end with. So everything inside of this with can now be used. I'm just going to indent this to make it look a little bit easier to read. Now here we can check do we have any messages that has been flashed? In creator block, if messages, and then we can just say end if. And this is optional, you could just use indexes to get this instead. But now we can also use a for loop to for through all of the messages we might have received, since you can flash multiple messages at once. We can say for the category. And in the message itself, in messages. And of course, this should be in brackets because this is ginger. And then, of course, we have to end the for, end for. And in here, we can finally get to displaying the messages. We can then say h1 and then message. So we're displaying the message here. And we can create an H2 here to display the category of the message. And if you save it, it's going to format stuff, but that's not a problem. 
Cool. So here we're saying with messengers, which becomes this. So it's like you're storing this inside of a variable with the name messengers. Otherwise, you'd have to go like this. And in here again, you'd have to go like this, which is just a little bit messy because you're typing a very long piece of string constantly. But if you do this, then it's just one word you have to type whenever you want to work with it. And here is just a regular Python for loop. We're getting the category, we're getting the message, and then we display it here. All right, now let's see how that looks if we go and we say f run and we go to look at our server. And we just need to set our secret key here again. So just app dot secret key and we just say hush or whatever that is it doesn't matter now when we have our secret key and we refresh there we go you are not logged in and the category is info if we flash another message here we say this is error and we flash another one which says success uh, could not get cookies and with success we can say you won $100. Now if we save this and we refresh, you see we get this error categories and the info categories. The reason for this is we ignored success. So we only get two of them. So right here, as you can see, only the error and info. If we included success here, it would display it as well. You can of course have multiple of the same category and it will just repeat it basically so if we go here and just make sure we notice it's different we can just say could and now if we refresh we'll have both could and could not and they're both of type category error so this is basic flashing it can of course be much more powerful if you like make a little pop-up or a little notification on the website instead thank you for watching i hope you all enjoyed and i'll see you all again in the next Flask Tutorial.